what what's the sense in the in the locker room now that you're back after two two? Uh, the city seems to feel like it's oh three in their favor. What's the sense in the room that you guys have? Um, I think it's just a sense of focus. We know we have to do um, some things better, and um, you know I think uh, I would agree with you. I think that people might have expected a different result, and I think the whole time uh, we've respected the Islanders, and um, you know, but there's definitely things that we uh, we definitely know we have to improve on. Sit in the back here. Uh, as far as some changes that might be worked in for game number five back here, might you be at all thinking about moving some of the top two line players around to get both Jerome and Neil on the right side? Is that something that's being considered at all moving forward? Uh, that's, I mean, that's a question for Dan. I, I wouldn't have any idea about something like that. Uh, Sid, over here. Um, always in these situations, it's sometimes difficult to sort through what the other team is doing right and what you're doing wrong. But can, have you sorted out in your own mind how much of this is what you guys aren't doing and how much is what they are doing? Yeah, I think I think it's a little bit of both. Obviously, they're they're playing with a lot of speed. They're coming with uh, pressure and creating turnovers. But I think part of it is um, you know us not uh, not making hard plays sometimes too. And um, you know I think when when they're coming that hard. Uh, there's a play to be made, and you've got to execute, or else uh, they're coming back the other way pretty quickly. So, uh, whether it's breaking out of our zone or plays through the neutral zone, and even sometimes in the offensive zone, uh, keeping pucks deep and you know force them to play a little bit more defense. Said, uh, I know this obviously isn't your call, Sid. This is your coach's, but I'm sure you're aware that the hot topic of the day is goaltending and, and Mark Andre's performance last night. Can you just talk about? The feeling in the room toward Mark Andre and the confidence that you guys still may have with him between the pipes. Yeah, I mean our confidence is there. Obviously, uh, we know it was a tough night, and um, I think we've all had tough nights. And you know, I think for us, when we have a tough one, it's not quite as obvious as when a goalie has a tough one. But um, you know, he's won a Stanley Cup. He's got a ton of experience. Uh, he's shown numerous times he can bounce back. So um, we're confident in him for sure. Say back in 09, you guys faced real adversity, like verge of elimination type adversity. Do you consider this to be the actual adversity or just the normal course of a playoff series that's tied at two apiece? Yeah, this is a playoff series. I mean, I think everyone had the expectation that uh, it was going to be easy. And um, when I say that, I, I mean people outside our dressing room. I think that, uh, you know, one versus eight, um, you know, there was an expectation it was going to be quick series but uh, I think for us like I said we've always respected the way they played and um, but there is a time where you have to make sure that you improve and you adjust over the course of a series and uh, we feel like we need to do things better and um, you know now it's a two or three and uh, you know we'll see if we're capable of doing that. Sid, a two-part question. Uh, the goal that Duper scored, you guys broke out of your own zone. It was like a perfectly executed breakout. You went from your own end to the other end. Could you talk about is that how things are supposed to look when you're starting from your own zone? And also, uh, second question is, what, what kind of uh, physicality have you had to deal with in this series, knowing that you know, you're know you having to wear a protective device and they might know that and just what, what their players are doing to try to target you? Yeah, um, I think on the goal, it's not always that pretty. It'd be nice if it was always that pretty, but I think sometimes you know, we just have to make the hard play and just get it out. and. Uh, you know, it's a little easier said than done when uh, there's a guy with a stick on you or, you know, a little bit of pressure. But um, we've got to make sure that we're making those hard plays and, and make sure that whether it's a chip or uh, a good hard pass to, to get out of the zone to break us out. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I think that's a strength of our game that we've shown all year that, uh, you know, we get back fast, we execute well coming out of the zone. Um, you know, as for me, I think, I think they're playing me hard just – you know, just as any team would in a playoff series, um, I don't think uh, I don't think it's any surprise to me that yeah, maybe their hands are up a little bit more uh, in that area. I mean, typically, I think they would try to get their hands up anyway and and play uh, play tough. But um, yeah, I would say that they're well aware of what my situation is. Thanks. Sir. Thanks.